Hello and welcome. This video is going to show you how to run a two-way ANOVA using the data for Activity 9.1. Now I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet, so I'm not going to give you a lot of interpretation information. So I am going to be using some terms uh, that I'm going to assume you're somewhat familiar with based on the reading. Uh, again, this is just meant to show you what to click and where to find some information in Jimobay. All right, so here is the data in here um, for Activity 9.1. First thing you want to do is create your value labels. So for uh, the drug variable, double click on that, and variable 1 is drug A, and level 2, I should say, is drug B. And then you want to do the same thing for gender. Uh, the code 1 is male and the code 2 is female. And now we have our value labels in, so we're ready to go ahead and uh, produce our output. We'll click on ANOVA and then ANOVA again. Our dependent variable is memory score, and so that goes into the dependent variable box. That's what we're measuring. Our two factors are the drug, people getting either drug A or drug B, and then what gender they are, either they're uh, male or female. We want to get omega squared, as we did in the previous chapter. Uh, the next thing we want to check on is um, the post hoc. Well, actually, before I do that, I'll just quickly point out, you'll notice that you have three F values over here, again, because you have three effects that you're testing. You have the main effect of drug, is drug A or drug B better? You have the uh, main effect of gender. Do males or females uh, score higher on the memory test? And then you have the interaction between those two factors. Is, is one type of drug better for one type of gender than the other? And so you can see these F values and you can interpret the P values and the omega squares. Um, we need to go ahead and do some it's called postdoc test, but we really need to do um, uh, more initial, uh, more analysis to, to interpret these results more fully. So you're going to click on each of these factors, the main effect of drug, the main effect of gender, and the interaction, and that's going to give you uh, these postdoc tests. This is where you're going to find the information you need for the main effect of drug, comparing drug A to drug B. This is where you're going to find information comparing the main effect of gender, comparing males to females on memory score, and then you have their p-value. Of course, we still want D and, Cohen's and the confidence overall around D, so we get those tacked on. Um, we don't want the two-key correction for the p-value, so we want to unclick that and instead click uh, the no correction. And then, of course, down here, by putting this um, interaction factor in here, this is what we're um, this is where we're getting all possible comparisons. So this part is could, can be a little bit confusing, so I'll, I'll spend a little bit of time just pointing out how to read these lines, right? So this top line is comparing uh, the people who got drug A across gender. So the males who got drug A compared to the females who got drug A, right? And then this next line down here would be the males who got drug A compared to um, the males who got drug B. And, and this would compare the males who got drug A to the females who got drug B. It's just comparing all possible comparisons. And then um, down here, the very bottom, uh, it's comparing uh, the males who got drug B to the females who got drug B. So again, it's comparing all possible comparisons. You have the T's. You have the non-corrected p-values, you have the d's for each, and the confidence interval for each. But we're not quite done, of course. Um, we want to get graphs. Graphs are going to be really, really helpful for, to, for you to understand how to interpret these things. And the way to get three graphs, we need a graph for the main effect of drug, we need a graph for the main effect of gender, and we need a graph for the interaction. And uh, this is how you do that. So you click on drug and you pop it over. And that's going to give you a graph that you can interpret for the main effect of drug. Now we want to do more, so we click on add a term, 
and then you want to pop gender over there and then you're going to have a, a gender one but we also need the interaction and the way you do that is you again you add a new term you can click on drug and then pop it over and then it's now genders highlighted you can pop that over as well and now you've got the interaction uh, you interpret these in very much the similar ways that you did uh, in the previous chapters by looking at the overlap between uh, these factors and that should be able to give you an indication of the size of p-value you're going to get for each in this case the main effect of drug the main effect of gender and then the interaction and I'll talk more about how to interpret these obviously in class you also want to get these marginal means um, here with this table and there's one other thing that you're going to want to get uh, in order to get the the means and the standard deviation. you have the means for each condition here but you want to get the standard deviations for each condition again so again we have to go back to uh, exploration and then descriptives and we want to get um, the mean and standard deviation for memory score but we just don't want it for all memory scores all big one big lump the overall what's called the grand mean we don't want that and the grand standard deviation instead we want it broken up by condition and we have two factors so we got to pop both of those down here and so now you can see that now we have the mean for people, for males on drug A, there it is. For females on drug A, there it is. And, and then males on B, and females on B, their means. And then you have to go way down here to find the standard deviations for those same groups. And you'll need this to answer, I think, maybe one of the first questions in the activity. So I think that's everything you need. Again, I will offer more information on how to interpret all of these things. In class, of course, this was just meant to be a short, sweet introduction to how to uh, click your way through Jamovi. Uh, I hope the activity goes well for you.